Hi guys, today I'm back with another try on haul. Today I'm going to be showing you the items that I picked up from Forever 21. Over the past month and a half or so, I've got my co-host Rue locked and loaded, ready to go. And Forever 21 is a site that I've been shopping from for as long as I can remember. Their clothes just agrees with me. I like their style. I feel like the price is good. Of course, it's not like the most high-end fashion ever, but that's not what I'm looking for. That's not my style and that's not my budget. The majority of this, as I mentioned, I purchased online because I just like shopping online. I hate going to the mall. I also always use Ebates and I get this intense Ebates guilt if I buy anything in a physical store when I knew I could have gotten cash back online. So I'll link to Ebates down below if you're not signed up. And this is also kind of a given when online shopping. If there's a store you really like, be sure to sign up for their email list. I had a lot of this clothes in my basket for like two weeks and then they had a friends and family sale so that encouraged me to push the button and place this order. So I'm going to show you everything that I purchased, some hits, some misses, and I will link to everything down below as long as it's still, still available and I'll also have my size down there too and if I can't find the exact product I'll try to link to something similar. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first item that I want to chat about is actually the jacket I'm wearing right now and I have a few Instagram posts of wearing a few of these items and videos as well so I will link to any of those down below. This is actually a men's denim jacket and I was in the market for an oversized denim jacket and I didn't want to purchase it online because I was kind of confused about if it was oversized, should I go with my regular size, do I want to go with a size up, whatever it might be. So I was browsing around the mall and came across this guy and I love it. I cannot stop wearing it. It was $25 and I didn't see it on their website right now but I will link to the men's section below and there's also a huge section of women's denim jackets but I thought $25 was an amazing deal for this and I wear it with dresses, I wear it with jeans, I wear it with a sweater underneath, I wear it with just like a tank top like I'm wearing right now and this is going to be something that I know I'm going to wear a ton throughout the fall and it's just so versatile and so cute and I really like the kind of oversized feel. It makes dresses look a little bit more casual and it's just super cute. So in keeping with the denim thing, I have this front slit kind of denim skirt here. And I think I tweeted about this, but if you had told me like a month ago that I was going to be wearing denim skirts again, I would have laughed in your face. I wore denim a ton, denim skirts in like grade seven, grade eight, and oh, it was just so bad. But they've made a comeback. I'm trying to jump on the train. So here I am. Uh, this skirt I'm wearing in the size 30, and I actually think it's really cute. I wore this out the other night with just a plain black long sleeve shirt and little booties and my long wool coat and I really liked the way that it looked. So still definitely getting used to it. It's one of those things, same with this jacket, that I want to wear it and I see other people doing it. I'm like, well, why can't I do it? And with items like that, I think if you find something flattering for your body and you're kind of unsure, the best way to wear it is just to continually wear it and then you'll get addicted to it. That's how I felt with this jacket. I put it on at first and I was like, I don't know, I don't know if it's me. And then I kept wearing it and now I'm like, this is me. So this is a great denim skirt. This one, however, is not, it's just not flattering on my body. I don't think I have the body type to wear uh, a shorter kind of mini denim skirt, perhaps. So the longer is a little bit more uh, flattering on my body. So this one is a little bit more of a mini, but I do really like the wash on it. I am going to be returning this. Forever 21 has a decent policy. I think it's exchange only, but it's not the end of the world. Like I can always find something to buy there. Uh, so this one wasn't as flattering on my body. That's not to say it's not cute. I definitely recommend if this kind of thing looks good on you to try it out. But for me, this just made my butt look flat and you know, my butt's one of my best assets. So I don't want to do that. This next shirt I wore in a recent empties video and I had somebody comment saying that my shirt was totally upstaging my makeup. And I was like, that's totally okay. I love this shirt. And you could only kind of see the top in it, but it has these really nice grommets on the side as well. I love yellow. I love this kind of like mustardy orange yellow and the shirt is just so cute. I wore this recently to a Mac store opening with a black leather jacket, black ripped jeans, and black little booties and I just felt like so cool and like I don't know I was trying to go for that like Mac girl vibe <laughs> but just a really nice shirt. It is a little bit low so it is a little tricky to wear. I'm wearing it with like a full-on bra in the try-on which I normally wouldn't do. I wore this with a bandeau the day that I actually wore it. You could just go bra and put like little nip things on if you wanted to. I would go that route as well. I don't always need to wear a bra, but I thought that this was super cute. I think it comes in a variety of shades as well. And it has kind of like an unfinished hem on it. So it's a little bit edgy, but not, it's like just as edgy as I'd like to take it. You know, it kind of looks like those shirts that have band names on them, but I like, I don't know anything about Led, Zepp Led Zeppelin or Guns N' Roses. I have no right to wear a shirt that says that on it. And I really like that style of shirt. So this does it for me without the band name. Up next, I have this camo jacket, which I love. And this is a big part of the reason why I wanted to actually place this order. I love camo and it can be a little bit tricky to wear, but I love 
the idea of a camo jacket and I had one a while ago and it got too small for me so it was kind of time to upgrade. This one has a hood on it which is nice as well. It's not super warm by any means and it's not lined. It has kind of like a thicker denim feel. There's no stretch in it and I got a medium. I maybe should have gotten a large. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear a, like a thicker sweater underneath it but I really love this and I really like it with wearing like all black or a light colored jean and a black tank top and I like that it doesn't have a ton of like bells and whistles on it because camo can be a little bit bold as is so this kind of acts as like my statement piece and I do really really love this so I'm definitely going to keep it. Something else that I absolutely love that doesn't even look that good, but I don't care because it's just so comfortable, <laughs> is this hoodie. I freaking love this. I haven't stopped wearing it since I got it. The only issue is that it doesn't have a, like a little hoodie pocket in the front, and I continually take my phone and kind of do that action as if I'm about to put it in the front of the hoodie and it doesn't exist. But anyways, other than that, it is super cute. Really, really comfortable. Not a super warm hoodie. This is almost something I would wear with this jacket and some leggings and Converse on like a chill day, grocery shopping day, whatever it might be, going to lunch or something like that. But I'm really glad that I got it. It comes in a few different shades, which I actually wouldn't mind having. It's just so cute and so comfy. I have one more jacket to show and this was a total impulse buy. I bought it when I was in store buying this jacket actually and I had t taken the wrong jacket from the change room so I went back to the change room to get the right one and I saw this guy and there was only two or three left. This is a size small. I am generally not a size small basically ever but I love the color. I love gray. I love light gray. I love the style of the jacket. It's kind of like moto with like a shirling kind of or like faux fur gray along the top here so like this is tight I can only wear this with like this thin little black tank top underneath mm, but it was on sale it was like $27 or something I'll try and find it online but if it was on sale highly unlikely it's gonna be on the website so if you have a store and you like this jacket check it out in store but probably wasn't the most responsible buy I probably won't wear it a ton but I just thought it was so cute and unique and I loved the color and it was like 25 bucks I feel like off the shoulder shirts were all the rage this summer still into this fall and I really don't own that many but I love the look I think it adds like such an elegance and a pretty look to a shirt but for whatever reason with my body type I haven't been able to find a lot that I really love so I thought I would try this one I really like the color as well it's girly but not too girly and then I find some of them are just like so boxy on the bottom that it's like my midsection is my biggest section and I don't need to make that like boxy and crazy looking so this is actually super flattering considering I bought it online the only issue with this one is I find it's a little bit hard to wear in the sense that like and maybe this is the case with all off the shoulder shirts but like I don't I don't have that much like movement with it so I do still like it I am gonna keep it but that is something to keep in mind let me know if you wear a lot of off the shoulder shirts if that's just the way it is but I do find that this kind of moves around a little bit more than I would like it to but I do really like the style I don't know what it is about mesh shirts but I have two mesh t-shirts and maybe some other mesh clothes but I didn't have any mesh long sleeves so this is like a really kind of tight mesh it's not 100% see-through but I would in general wear this with a black tank top underneath and in the clip where I'm trying it on I have it pulled over my jeans but I, I wore this out recently with high-waisted jeans kind of tucked in and I think it looks really good I would also wear it with that denim skirt so it doesn't look like much it actually kind of looks weird with this kind of like nylon-y tights pantyhose color but I think it is really flattering I think it's a really nice way to add a little bit of sexiness without actually having any pure skin showing and I do like that it's long sleeve as well because my other mesh shirts are t-shirts which are cute for the summer but this is a nice kind of fall mesh Something else that I love that I've been super into lately is shirt dresses and I love wearing midi dresses but I've been kind of getting into wearing more mini dresses and I really like it especially now that I have this denim jacket because if I'm wearing something mini and I kind of throw this which is a little bit bigger over it kind of offsets the fact that it's mini in my mind anyways but I really like this shirt dress. I love anything olive. It has a really nice silky feel. I think it's going to look so good with over the knee boots, with tights, with a leather jacket, with a denim jacket and I'd really like to get something similar in black as well they had one but it was like 50 or 60 bucks which I didn't really want to get this was I think 25 or 30 a little bit more in my budget so I thought that this was really nice and I have this in a size medium so it definitely is not it's a little bit oversized I think so that's something to keep in mind if you are gonna purchase this online and I think it comes in a few different shades so this next item I think is gonna go back it's just not really what I wanted it to be online it did say it was pink but in the photo it definitely looked 
it definitely looked more peach so it's just a little bit too baby pink for me and it's also a little bit tight I wanted it to be more of like a casual shirt something that was super comfortable and it's just a little bit see-through it is a really cute shirt but it's just not really what I wanted it to be so I think I'm gonna return it same can be said I think I don't know I haven't decided this is super comfy and the way that I'm wearing it in the video, it's kind of hard to tell that it would ever look good. But I do like these kind of long line cardigans. This one is in a gray shade. So I'm imagining wearing this with like a black tank top again, black pants. That's like my uniform and heels. And I think it could look kind of cute because it's a little bit oversized. Let me know what you think of it. I am on the fence about returning it or not. I think it's also just super comfy, but I don't really need to buy like something that I'm just going to wear around the house. I want to make sure that I'm actually going to wear it. So I'm a little bit unsure. It's a little bit plain and dumb but I also kind of like that if you dress it up with heels so <laughs> let me know what you think and then lastly I got a pair of shoes and some accessories and these shoes not everyone's gonna like these and I don't really care because I freaking love them they are these nude booties and again like the denim jacket like the denim skirt these are the kind of things that I would see somebody wearing and be like I wish I could wear those and I was like you know what why can't I? I have feet. I can put these on. So in the close-up shot of these, they look a little bit washed out, as do my legs. I look super pale, but I'll link to a few photos where I'm wearing these on Instagram. You can see they have a really nice kind of like peachy kind of beigey shade and I just and I feel so good when I wear them and they're not the kind of thing that I want to spend a few hundred dollars on because next year I'm probably gonna look at these and be like what was I thinking but for right now I think that these are just super cute I think they were about $45 I bought them in store so if they're still online I will link to them down below and it's just a really nice heel height I wear it all the time I've walked a bunch in them they're getting a little bit scuffed up if you have any suggestions for cleaning scuff let me know but yeah I think they had them in a few shades too and I've had good luck I've a good few pairs of forever 21 shoes and they've always lasted me really well then I also got a pair of sunglasses I didn't want to try these on in the try on haul because my face and hair was a mess and I wasn't like doing anything with myself that day it was filmed on a different day but I really like these sunglasses I especially like them because they don't have a whole bunch of like little thin wires and stuff if you have curly hair you know the struggle of putting like a ray-ban aviator aviator style sunglasses in your hair and it just like gets caught and you're just like oh uh, and pulling but like these are the kind that I can put up on my head and take down and put up and take down and I know that it's not going to mess up my hair but I also really really like the style as well and I always buy my sunglasses at forever 21 because I just I don't think I'm adult enough to buy like actual expensive sunglasses <laughs> and same can be said for midi rings I picked up a few midi rings as well I really don't own much expensive jewelry I have a hard time thinking about paying like $90 for one midi ring when I can get like seven of them from seven for like seven dollars at forever 21 and obviously the quality is not going to be the same but I love to wear a lot of rings. I really like to switch it up and I'm not super responsible with them. So for me, I'm sticking to the Forever 21 rings for right now. And some of them I've had for years and I really like them. They do end up turning a little bit, but I find when they turn, the color is still nice. I don't know. Anyways, that is everything that I've purchased from Forever 21 as of lately. Let me know down below which items you like the most and what you have been kind of obsessing with this fall. I know there's always new trends and things coming out and it's hard to keep up. And that's another reason I like Forever 21 is I feel like it's you know affordable which is relative but for me it definitely fits in my budget and they always have styles that I enjoy and I find the sizing is good on my body as well so thank you so much for watching I will link to my previous try on hauls and fashion videos down below stay tuned for an upcoming fall lookbook as well and if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye